I find these sorts of events particularly inspiring. Um, I think that the, the cross-fertilisation of ideas when you have so many uh, top class, class people from around the world together is, um, is stimulating not just to their own projects but, but to mine. And I also consider that the relationships that are built, the personal relationships, um, are powerful because they promote lifelong collaborations between people and between institutions. So I'm a cell biologist and molecular biologist and, and I look for ways to understand um, how it is that malaria causes disease and whether those, that molecular understanding can be exploited to make uh, vaccines and, and drugs. And so the work I presented here uh, demonstrated our current knowledge, uh, which has advanced enormously over the last decade in the post-genomic era, of how parasites invade red blood cells. And that um, deep understanding now of the molecular basis for red blood cell invasion has opened the way, um, previously unthought of ways, to generate vaccines. And so I talked to the students and they asked me, and, and the participants, and they asked me many questions, uh, many of which I hadn't thought of before, about my, my work. So I, didn't, I wasn't just there imparting knowledge, I was certainly here uh, learning as well. This course was a great opportunity to, to be in Brazil. Uh, the course is really amazing because there are very important speakers in cellular biology. Uh, so I'm really en enjoying the, the meeting. Actually, I'm working on the mosquito stages of malaria. We have uh, uh, still a very good collaboration with the labs here in, in Brazil, uh, working, uh, of course, on malaria disease. I'm developing some modified parasites which cannot uh, aggress from the oocyst. So we are trying to block the transmission of malaria uh, by blocking the transmission through the mosquitoes to, to, the, uh, to the human. So uh, that's our aim. It's a very important subject because uh, after uh, HIV, malaria is the second deadly uh, disease around the world. I heard about this event because what I work on is very similar to what Celia Garcia works on. She works on calcium signaling and plasmodium, and we work on calcium signaling and toxoplasma gondii. And I was interested in going to this event and talking with her, as well as talking with other people around the world to see how they do and, and interact with them and how they do their work, and to expand my knowledge basis as well. And my lab studies the quality of our proteins um, and how they are being folded into the correct shapes to then uh, fulfill the functions of the cell. And these are processes that break down as we age. Um, so the, by studying the very basics of how cells um, manage to keep their proteome in the best folded state possible has strong connections to various diseases including diabetes, uh, neurodegeneration, and cancer. Um, so I basically tried to tell a story um, or two of how our research of very basic mechanistic understanding of these processes has lead, led to some now very, very promising avenues of combating cancer and neurodegeneration.